Hello everyone, in peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. If you are a Muslim, we are going to open our pal talk for you so you can call us and you can teach us about your God. Each time I speak to Muslims about their God, each one of them he give me different answer. Each one of them, <clears throat> he know his God in different way. Which is a clear sign that they are very confused about who is their God. So we have our, you know, pal talk open. Um, look like we have a Muslim. So each time we ask, who is Allah they don't know? What is Allah they don't know? What is Allah they don't know? I mean, they give you, I mean, like, he is the creator. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. You are live on air, my friend. We are in YouTube. Okay, perfect. I just knew the YouTube. First of all, I'm excusing for my English. It's not very good. No problem. No but problem. I am trying my best. It's all right. Um, well, um, I've seen videos uh, you were talking about uh, different things in Quran because I don't like the hadith, you know. I'm Sunni, okay. but um, I don't believe in that because for me, how can I say that? Um, if, you, if you imagine we have uh, um, in different uh, Sahih Bukhari or Muslim, mm -hmm. um, you can uh, kill a dog if you see black and so on. For me, this is uh, yeah. this, uh, this would not be God. Mm -hmm. God loves all his creatures. And uh, for me, this is uh, against God and the nature. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so you think? What do you think? Uh, the hadith so, is, a, is a fabrication. It is stupid. What, what do you think? Is it Muhammad yes, who said that? Yes. Okay. Yes. So yes. You, you believe in Muhammad as a prophet, of but course, you, but you believe the the hadith itself is a fabrication. Because Muhammad is a prophet, right? Yes. All right. Yes. Every hadith, I believe, uh, is uh, not from him. But I would like to, to talk with you about uh, different things uh, like um, what was Prophet Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him, um, what, what was he like? What uh, did he teach or did he teach something yeah, or did he do my, miracles? My friend, I, I, don't don't know, know. I don't know what to call you. There is a name I can call you. You don't have to give your real name, doesn't matter really, but just give me a name. It's up to you. What sorry? What I can call sorry? you, like what I call you. I'm talking to you. What I don't know what to call you. What is your name, Ahmad Muhammad? Muhammad. Um, I have. You can give me any name you want. It's oh no no, uh, my name is Valon. 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 I'm from Albania. Oh okay, from Valon. Albania. Okay. So my friend, like you mentioned now, in the hadith yes. says that the black dog killed them, right? But isn't the Quran saying the same? Really. If you go to chapter 3, verse 106, what oh it says? My. It says, yeah. it says, on the day that some faces Allah will make them uh, mm. white and some faces Allah will make them black. So okay. it's the same, you know, the black here, you know, at the end of the day, Muhammad is referring to the good ones with the white face and the bad one mm -hmm. you know with the black face this is your prophet saying that and this is quran this is not the hadith so what we would know are we going to reject the quran oh man um it's very disturbing i um yeah this is this is quran um, now this is not day, hadith. Um, yeah 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 on the day when some faces will become white and some faces will become black, as for those who faces will become black, to them will be said, Did you reject faith after accepting it? Um, man. Um, I have different questions because I, I have the Quran in Albanian, in Albanian and um, 
it tra translates uh, i wrote you yesterday because the farjaha yeah so we can go there, um, no problem. what does let, farjaha let, really mean because no problem we can go there my friend oh, yes, yeah. let us finish this one what do you think about you know i mean allah will make all the bad ones black and all the ones who they are good white i mean what is that so obviously islam consider black you know no, the color of a black is color of sin Um, but uh, but was it uh, not um, how how was your name uh, the uh, the prayer called uh, the Omar? I don't know. He was black also. I don't think it's. Uh, no, he racism. was a slave. He or was a do slave. You like, do you think it's friend, everything black? No, he was a slave. They were using him. Poor guy. Poor guy. He was using oh, him. Yeah. Okay. You are my slave. All the white men they stay oh. late sleeping. You know nobody like to wake up early morning. Who is the one? So Muhammad, he ordered Bilal. He ordered him. He didn't ask him, hey, Bilal, do you like to be the one who called? He ordered him, you know? So there's a huge difference. I order you to do it, and then you have no choice to do it or not to do it. You are just a slave. Why Muhammad don't do it? Shouldn't oh, be he man. the first one to wake up to pray for Allah? Why even yeah, he, for sure. why he for even sure. need Bilal? I mean, he is, he is the prophet. He is the one who will call for the prayer. He is the first Muslim in, the, in, in that territory. So he should be the first one called to the prayer, not the slave. The poor black slave. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So what, what do you think about this? I mean, why? what what the, what the relationship between the black and white? Why the, the bad ones in Islam always? And there's many verses, by the way. I mean, not only here. Like now we are showing you chapter 3, uh, you know, uh, uh, Oh, 06 but you know it's all over the Quran there is many places if you go to this story of uh, of a Jassasa, I don't know if you heard about it you know that's there is a beast will come of, of the story of sorry Al Jassasa, Al Jassasa. Oh, yes yes that 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 that's another question because yeah. I think the the one who will take this beat out I it's in my mind is the devil not the God so it's a little yeah, bit confusing. No, just says, is, uh, is it in Quran? Yeah, it just says, uh, you know, uh, uh, a story. If you go to chapter of Al Naml, if we go to Al Naml, mm -hmm. chapter 27, verse number 82, yeah. and then we go all mm -hmm. the way to verse 82, it says here that when you know the translation is very funny muslim translation is very you know I, don't be upset from me when i say muslim translation stupid translation because that's what it is you know and don't be upset because you are a muslim so yes it yes, says yes. here of course yeah that's look, a big reason that's a big reason that's yeah look it says here when the word of torment is fulfilled against them we shall bring uh, out from the earth mm -hmm. a beast okay then this beast if you go and read any interpretation you will see the interpretation saying that the beast is called a jassasa. It have a mix of look, you know, have a face of etc., a tail of etc., legs of etc., and then it's going to have the stick of Musa's and the ring of Solomon, and it's going to hit you in your face. And if you are a Muslim, it's going to make you very white, shiny white, and if you are a non-Muslim, will make you black. So when when the day come of resurrection, how people recognize each other? Who is a believer? Who is not a believer? all the christians the jews the hindus the buddhas etc they will be black all the muslims will be white when we talk about the muslims those are the sect which allah he approved because not all muslims will go to heaven according to islam so if if this is the belief you know and this is god how he recognized the good from one he make all the bad ones black and he made all the good ones white so what kind of religion? Obviously, this is this is a very, you know, sick religion. If you read here, this is Ibn Kathir, it says, A beast will emerge from the earth, and it will be the, uh, uh, with it, the staff of Musa, and the ring of Suleiman, and it will strike the disbeliever with the staff in his face, uh, 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 of the face of the believer, bright with the ring. And then uh, when they gather to eat, people, they recognize each other, say, Oh, you are kafir. How? Because he's black. Read carefully let us continue reading down there it says that this beast it have the following description okay let us see its head is the head of a bull its eyes the eyes of a pig 
its ears the ears of an elephant its horn the horns of a st stag the neck is the neck of an ostrich the chest is a chest of a lion uh, the color is a color of a tiger and its hinges are like the hinges of a cat its tail is like the tail of a ram and it is leg like a legs of a camel etc so this description and then it says there will be no believer without marking a white spot in his face which will spread uh, until all his face is shining white as a result and will do be no disbeliever left without making a mark a black mark in his face or spot in his face which will spread and all his face will be black as a result so what do you think oh man that's really really sick but um can i tell you something i mm -hmm. the tafsir i um i don't want to be rude words but uh, i don't like them uh the tafsirs or the hadith because we are all humans and we made uh, mistakes so my just just my opinion was uh, the quran but this explanation but even the quran says very I very you. sick very but even the quran Say it clearly, oh. the word Allah will make faces, uh, you know, um, in the judgment day, you know. So the Quran says that clearly, it's not like an interpretation. This is just a uh, more explanation of what Allah, he, you know, he mean. You know? That's very sick. That's very, very sick. Yeah. Um, so you know the second you belong to Islam you, are, um, okay, you have to believe you have to believe in what you just called sick because this is what it is um, um, okay thank you for this answer all right um, can I or can we go to sure, um, sure. to the chapter I don't know uh, about Mary at Tahrim at Tahrim I have to um, search it about uh, the Farjaha um, yeah. from Mary. Yeah, the, so the what, 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 uh, what in the Muslim translation in the Albanian language they say to you about Farjaha? Yeah, I don't like it. It's uh, he blew it in uh, in her body or or something like that but not mm. not uh, like in her vagina or some, some yeah. something sexual. See, if you if you look with all the word uh, appear mm -hmm. in the Quran, and I will show you which word is the Farj. Uh, this uh, this uh, uh, chapter twenty three, verse number five. What is the translation for that for you? In the can you see? Can you look for it? Chapter twenty three, verse number five. Uh, chapter twenty three, number five. Um, so it is. We can search here for the Albanian translation. Albanian, where is the Albanian? Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Here we go. I found Albanian. I have Albanian if Effendi Nahi. Is that the one you have? Mm -hmm. Is that the one you have? Um, just, a minute. Uh, just a minute. I. I have uh, no. I don't know what which one it is, but it's uh, the 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 translation we most of the Albanians have. It's um, okay. I it says here. The, okay. The it, 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 it says the he t silit rojani or uh, organate e veta gj gentile gentale. Is that the one? What you have? Yes. Um, what does that mean? Yes, yes. This uh, that's the one. Yes. Okay. What it says? What does um, it mean? It's um, me. Yeah. It's it's obviously not not not. Um, how can I say that? It's not deeply um, describing. Uh, just blowing the Holy Spirit. Yeah, something like that. But I no, didn't know. No, no. This is uh, just, this is. Remember, I'm not reading. I'm not reading for you. you did you open the verse? You did not open it. Ah oh, yes, yes, yes. Now uh, the tetilit irwine or organet is it a genital? Um, what does that mean? Oh man, um, 
and genital i think it says they, they, they're um, private part genital is their private right sexual organ because correct genital yeah okay yeah, so yeah, you see this is the yeah, same word why here yeah. they translate it differently it's the same word fruj this is the same word here this is the word in arabic yeah good this is the good word. example this is the word good in arabic example, you see yeah. this is the word in arabic and here it says genital so okay mm -hmm. so how come here they say genital and when it's uh, uh, in her body because it's very stupid to say that God he blew into her vagina this is very disgusting and stupid you know so to avoid to yeah. say can, can we please go with uh, because, huh? because this one is, is the same but uh, there it doesn't um, um, translate genital it's um, uh, surah 66 atahrim um, I think chapter 12 mm -hmm. 66 chapter 12 because there isn't genital it's okay. it blue i don't know but yeah, it's I not understand. A I good understand. translation I understand. I understand. but they say this is false translation because this is the word you see even here they say he breathed into her sleeves <laughs> why her sleeves is her body <laughs> sleeves <laughs> i mean what 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 is that she's a oh, she is a she is a balloon and her sleeves is where the wind will come from what does that mean this is this is silly <laughs> So the word, the word is farjaha, the word is farjaha, and farjaha mean, you know, farj is any yeah. opening in a, in a physical body, opening, you know, opening in a, in a, in a, in a and when we use it for a human okay. being, we are talking specifically about the male sexual mm -hmm. organ or female sexual organ. So farj can be go, mm -hmm. farj, but usually the word farj mm -hmm. is used for female, but it can be for for both you know like they are this is farj which is something an open in your body but is used for a sexual purpose so uh, uh the quran is is uh, is full of those words and uh, the word uh, farj is appear everywhere and each time we translate we look at the muslim translating the word farj we will find the word farj is translated as uh, like chapter 24 verse number 31 chapter 24 verse number 30 it says قل للمؤمنين مؤمنين يغضوا من أبصارهم ويحفظوا فروجهم فروجهم okay so okay verse number the same chapter 24 verse number 31 وقل للمؤمنات يغضن من من أبصارهم ويحفظن فروجهن okay what فروجهن trick the translation it's private part so how come here it's a private part but there it's not you know somebody is lying somebody see and to protect their private parts the same word so because it's embarrassing it's very stupid that there's a god he put his mouth there between the legs of a woman and he blow yeah. in her vagina yeah. so they are trying to avoid the translation to be accurate and they start coming with their own yes, yes, uh, yes. fiction and lies and oh her sleeves oh her her bra or her <laughs> It says for a jah, you know. <laughs> what? Well, I didn't maybe, like maybe, that. Maybe, 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 maybe God Mary. To talk about maybe Mary is the only woman she have her for in her sleeves. Maybe, yeah, makes sense. You know, I mean, how stupid that interpretation is or that inter translation. Yeah. But this is the only way yeah. to avoid yeah. stupidity. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yes, and I, I thought, um, Christian Prince, I just thought um, till now, how can God talk about these things and uh, this way? I I imagine another way, not like this. And um, but, but, can, but you still, yes. you know, you are uh, for Jaha, I, yeah, you question Islam, but still you are a Muslim. I mean, how come you are not leaving Islam yet? I mean, all of this, uh, this is stupid. I mean, this is not right. What is making you stay as a Muslim until now? Um, because I'm, I'm, I have fear of Allah. I think if I leave Islam, I will go to hell and I will burn. Uh, okay, you are yes, going to, you are going, burn. you are going to go to hell anyway. The Quran says, "Wama minkum illa wariduha." You know, "Wama minkum illa wariduha." Not even mm -hmm. a single one of you, but he will enter hell. So, if you are going to Islam, if you stay with Muhammad. It's like a gambling. Muhammad, he said, my, my, my nation will be 73 sect. One of them only will go to heaven. So playing cards is, is better than, you know, playing with Islam. Because in the card, you have a, a choice like uh, uh, 
uh, 1 to 4 but in Islam you have a choice of 1 to 73 you might be the one you might be not so you know you are wasting your life for nothing and as you see this is stupid uh, okay you know uh, if there is something can confirm to you for a second make you think for a second that Islam is from God or Quran from God because you don't like hadith Yes, um, I have. I have something I have to search about about the universe mm. and. Um, what about it? Yeah, it's it's um, Surah Surah fifty one mm. chapter forty seven. It says here, and the heaven we build it with craftsmanship, and we are still expanding. So the science um, mm. know that the universe is expanding. How did how did the, a man know um, 1,400 years ago? Hmm. My friend, you said you don't accept uh, interpretation, right? Yes, I don't like such tafsirs and so on because these tafsirs, believe me, the, uh, all of them, it's my yeah, opinion, my friend, all of them are but, crazy but my, guys. But my friend, all first of, of all, first of all, you, uh, uh, I don't know, if you if you read the, uh, the translation, you will not find one of them saying, that we expanded the universe all of them they are saying and we we can do more we can expand more but it's not about the universe because first of all Allah he built the universe by his hands is the universe built by hands is the space built by hands do you need there, there is an yeah, there is there is a material the, the space is a vacuum it's empty so if the miracle is making a space how the space can be built by hands This is the first one. Yeah. Secondly, nowhere it says he ex who is going to expand the universe. Sec number three, the Bible is speak about the the uh, 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 you know universe expands long before Islam. You know, so what is that about? I mean, if I make a book uh, and I wrote my book thousand year, two thousand years before you. And then you wrote a book after me, uh, 2,000 years. And then can you claim that you are the one who discovered it? For the sake of argument, let's say this is what it says, which is not. All right? So either, oh, either you okay. know, I mean, Muslims are really, they, they, are, you know, they are bankrupt. It's, it's bankruptcy. So we don't go and say, oh, in, uh, uh, you know, uh, in the Bible it says, etc., that uh, he stretched out the heaven. You know, we don't go and say, oh, this is science, because simply, I don't believe in science in order to believe in God. Because simply, if you believe that Mary, she have a son without having a boyfriend or a man, that is against science, correct? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so what science is about? If we go to Isaiah chapter 40, and I will show you on the screen what it says. It is he who sits upon the circle of the earth. So the Bible mentioned that the earth is like a sphere. It's not like the translation says circle. And he and, and the inhabitants, therefore, like a grasshopper over it. And he stretched out the heaven as a curtain. <laughs> he stretched out the heaven as a curtain. You see how, I mean, how clear we make it. So here it says it clearly. He stretched out the heaven like curtain. You know how curtain is stretched, right? While in the verse in the Quran, nowhere here yes, it says yes. he's, yeah, exactly. he, he's, he's stretched out. Nowhere he stretched out. Nowhere it says in the Quran that. But because they are desperate, they try. But this is a book written long before Islam. And here we go. We have the earth. The Muslim, they lie. They say the Bible says the earth is a flat. Right, here we go. It's in front of you. Even the Bible says uh, that God, he hanged the earth on nothing. Nothing. It's, it's in the space. It's hanged on nothing. While the Quran says that Allah, he... Put the heaven in a columns which we cannot see. Columns which we cannot see. Right? So there is a column. When you say we set it in a column which you cannot see, which means there is a column, but we don't see. Chapter 13, verse number 2. Chapter 31, verse number 10. What else? Give me something. That the first one you gave me, it, it, it turned to be, you know, a balloon. One needle, the balloon is empty. So what else? If there's anything will make you still think Islam is from God. Um, 
Yes. Um, this is one. It's a little bit confusing. Uh, Quran uh, Surah twenty one verse uh, hundred and four. On the day when we will fold the heaven like the folder compact with books, and as we originated the first creation, we shall return it, a promise binding on us, surely we will deliver. Hmm. It's a little bit a mighty uh, explanation, but I don't think um, it's no good translated, this is chapter, so maybe this it is could the, be... This is the, the chapter, 20, uh, chapter 21, correct? Chapter 21, you said? Yes. Okay, what verse? Mm -hmm. 104. Verse 104? Uh, 104. Oh, okay. 104. So let us yes, see. 104. Okay, actually, this verse here proving to us another story. You see, every every time Muhammad he speak, he make mistakes and he say something very silly. A second ago, we said that the space the space is uh, is going to extend, right? Like a curtain in the Bible. And you mentioned to me the other verse in the yeah. Quran. All right. If the if if the heaven yeah. is not something is not a carpet, how you can roll it? To roll it, it have to be a carpet. It have to be flat. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, if yeah. it is, you know, either it is a flat or it's not a flat. I cannot roll something unless it's a flat. You can roll a carpet. You can roll like you put a towel in the floor. You can roll it. Uh, you have a rag. You can roll it. And rolling something, which is a sky, is something silly. And otherwise, we have to believe then that the sky is a flat. Then, uh, that day, Allah will roll the heaven. Uh, what will happen to the earth? Is the earth is inside the heaven? <laughs> what do you think? The earth earth inside the heaven uh, yes i think so hmm. do you read with me something here important it we are here so the, the... yeah but read, read with me here something very important mm -hmm. he said the day we shall roll up the heaven as recorded rolls up so he make it clear like a paper as we began the first creation mm -hmm. so he created the earth by unfolding the heaven now he is rolling it up. <laughs> but is it really? Oh, what the, oh. Is it this is what the Quran says? Isn't oh. it the Quran says that the heaven was smoke in the creation in the beginning? There was no roll. Yes, yes. It's uh, there are so many versions. The creation. The, this one if first created, then this uh, the yeah. other one. I, I'm confused. Very if confused. you go, if you go to chapter forty-one, verse number eleven. It says, yes. and then he stole, you know, he, he left up to the heaven. He left himself up, up under the, the chair of Allah, Allah himself. And then toward the heaven, and it was a smoke. So Allah, he unrolled smoke. Smoke is not something. It's me, nothing, you know, what's smoke. So how he say that we are going to yes, roll yes. the heaven the same as we, the first of the creation. When the first of the creation, there was no, nothing was in fold. The verse here is saying that then Allah He made the seven seven sky. He did not unfold anything. And you are the one who said to me that Allah He built the sky by His hands. He built. So He made them seven skies at the end. At the end, after He made them seven skies, as you see here, then He adorned the nearest lowest heaven with stars. So the last thing Allah He made is the stars. So how what kind of a creation this creation is? How does that work? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Um, can you can you maybe explain me? Uh, maybe you're the wrong person I asking for. But uh, sometimes when I feel bad and I listen to Quran, it's something like smoothing the heart and um, hmm. it's very calm. So you know what I mean? It's, if you, it's, uh, like if you listen, if you listen just to the when Quran, you when you hear it, not when you read it. No, my friend, you are listening to someone whose voice is ugly. Try to yes. listen to the Quran to someone whose nice is bad, and, you, and his voice, and uh, you are listening to the voice, not to the Quran. First, you do not know Arabic. 
and any anyone have nice voice singing anything yeah. like you know if in english uh, a person who have nice voice and he is saying the f word people who do not know what the song is they will repeat it they think it's nice you know like us in the middle east we use when we were kids we hear a song we repeat the song but then we notice that this is filthy song you know and then we uh, get ashamed of ourselves but because we don't speak the language but, but the music was nice the voice of a person who is singing is is uh, have a nice voice you want to see the real Quran? Go and see a Muslim, normal Muslim. He is not a not 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 a, not a singer. You know the Muslims what they do, they choose the best of their own voices to recite the Quran. That is a business, my friend. If I give now any, any the Quran to anyone, uh, uh, his voice is ugly, and then let us see how many people will listen to it. Nobody. In the same time, the second you speak Arabic, you will notice how stupid the Quran is. You know, I mean, what what. Uh, 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 what kind of God he, he you know like here okay you see the, the verse we are reading now in front of you we, we, I don't want to change the verse the same verse chapter 41 verse yeah. number 12 what the connection between this one and the verse after it nothing yeah. he was talking about the creation of the heaven suddenly he jumped to people they are from a nation or tribe called the Ad and Thamud okay what the connection between creating the stars and then this what is the connection? There's no connection. You know? So here supposedly he was telling you, are you going to refuse Allah who he, you know, he created all those things? And then he says in two days, okay. I mean, first of all, how those people, they will believe that Allah is the one who created. Shouldn't you give them a proof that he is the creator? If I come to you and you are a Hindu, and I say to you, are you going to believe in Allah, the one who created the stars? Well, the Hindu, he will say to me, well, I have a, I have a different God who created those things. I mean, what this is, a, so this is not a proof of anything. And then he starts speaking about, like he placed in the top of the uh, of the earth mountains, who in the world want to believe in such a garbage, that there is a God, he put mountains in the top of the earth, so the earth will not be shaking. Why is the is it is it what the science says that mountains is something we, we, uh, you know placed in the top of the earth or it's the opposite? Mountains, according to science, is coming from inside the crust of the earth, either either from volcano or from the pressure of tectonic plates. Like when there's two tectonic plates, they meet each other, then they they, they make a pressure and generate a, 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 like a, a high hill hills, and that can can make a mountain or a volcano, like you see in Hawaii, in Japan, etc. So there is no way or be, anyone believe that there's mountains. There's somebody placed them in the top of the earth. That is funny. It's the opposite. Actually, the mountains, they grow every year. Mountains, they, they can grow and they can even shrink. So they can grow up. They are not even fixed in the height and in the shape. So this is a very stupid statement. And then he says, like in this chapter, chapter 41, that he, uh, the order of a creation is, is different. Here he made the earth first. Then he made everything in the top of the earth. He made he put the mountains. He, he he created the trees, the grass. Then he went to the sky. The sky was a smoke. And then he made them seven sky. And the last thing he did, he created the stars. If you go to chapter seventy nine, it's the story is totally the opposite. And remember, the Quran says, if Allah, you know, if if the Quran is other than God, made by other than God, then you will find contradiction. Correct. Yes, is that yes many contradictions. Okay, yes. so so how yes, you know yes. uh, 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 how uh, uh, how he is the one, he is the God. Then he say things which is really stupid. I mean, this is a full of contradiction. Uh, if you go in as an example from the chapter of Al Baqarah right away, you say it says. Uh, What is the first thing Allah created? Chapter 29, 20, uh, 2 verse number 29. It says, It is he who created for you that all in earth. Then he turned to the heaven and he finished the, uh, finished the heaven, the seven heaven. Correct? I mean, the verse is so clear. Yes. All right. So now we have a confirmation in chapter 2 verse number 29 that the first thing Allah created, the finished one, totally finished, it was the earth. The heaven is not finished. It's so clear, it's in front of us. This is chapter 2, verse number 29. Then we go, we continue, and we will see how uh, how how Islam explained the, the, 
uh, the the or the uh, create uh, sorry the the the, the, no, the earth creation. He say in this chapter mm -hmm. se seventy nine verse number thirty. It says that the first thing Allah He created, He said, "Are you harder to create, or the heaven He built? He raised the high. He raised it high, so the the heaven was low. I mean, what high? What low? <laughs> the heaven was high, but the heaven was low, and He lifted up. We are inside the heaven until now. The heaven goes nowhere. We are just a little tiny dust. It's not even a dust." compared to the space the massive yeah. space of the so the heaven never rose never go anywhere and then and then he made the dark and the night okay and then after that he made the earth flat look look at this after that after he finished the heaven he made the earth flat but in the other chapter we just saw it's the opposite first he finished the earth in two days then he made mountains put it in the top of the earth hmm. then he put the, the 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 water the grass the trees and then then he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke and then he he you know he completed the finish the sky and then the last thing he created the stars we go back to, to 79 is the opposite oh, he made the earth he made the earth and you know he created he built then he raised to the sky you know then he made it dark uh uh, uh sorry here here first he created the heaven not the earth he created the heaven you know and then he made it uh, uh he lifted up high and then uh, uh but by the way he he uh, he lifted up high and he made it flat again fasawaha the muslim they say and he put it in order we will go translation no problem and then he made the dark and the night and then he, he then he start working in the earth but in the, oh, the other one it's the first one the earth is finished The other yeah, one, the first one is the finish. The last thing is the stars. Yeah, really. Here, the stars are done. It says he made the night, he made the day. That's it. And then after that, after that, he spread the earth. And by the way, the earth is spread here mean he made it flat. The ha ha, the ha ha mean flat. There's videos in YouTube about this word. They say the Muslims, the word the ha ha mean the 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 uh, the, uh, the ostrich egg, which is which, it's a joke. You know, you can go right now, copy it to dictionary, Islamic dictionary, and you will see the ha ha mean flat. They lie. It was just a kid who was debating me in a chat room. He make a video to respond to me, and then the stupid Zakir Naik he copied from 19 years old kid what he said. And now every Muslim he copied the same video and they believe it. You can go right now and check. And you actually we can go right now to the interpretation and you will see all Islamic interpretation agree that this is the haha, meaning he made it flat. This is why you will not find anyone saying the egg. Where is the egg in the translation? How come the Muslim do not know the egg thing? <laughs> yes, that, that's a good. That that uh, was my uh, um, next question because. Most of the translations are uh, an egg, but I don't, I don't believe that it's a translation uh, right. So that's flat, huh? Okay. My, my friend, oh, I, I have my, oh, I, I, I made a book in Albania oh, for free. Did you have it? Did you have my book in mm, Albania for no, free? No, but I'm, well, I'm sure I will maybe, get it. Maybe the admin he can post. No, for no, you. I, will, I will get it. Yeah, the, the admin can post for you the link so you can download yeah. the Albanian book for my, for, for free as a gift from me to you. Now let me ask you: Are you going to stay as a Muslim after all of this? I mean, what kind of God? This, this God Himself, He said, "If this book is other from other than Allah, which means not from God, you will find a lot of contradiction." Right? Yeah, That's what the Quran found, says. We, we this, found it right now. Yeah. Yeah. The Quran says, chapter four, verse number eighty-two: If this book is then made by other than Allah, which means not by God. Would surely you find a lot of problems in it, a lot of contradiction, and here we go. I mean, we still have tons of them. Um, uh, these ones you showed me, uh, uh, there were um, big reasons to leave Islam. But can you show me uh, maybe two other other reasons why why the Quran is not? Allah's word. Um, remember, I don't want to see tafsirs. I don't want to see hadiths because for me, sorry for this. No problem. I'm not bullshit. showing tafsir. I just uh, wanna yeah. wanna ask. Okay, my my friend. Uh, okay. just, just Quran. Just what, Quran. What is your education, if you don't mind? What like do you have high school? 
Um, no, why, why do you mean high school? <laughs> no, no, I'm saying what your education because I want to know. I mean, like, did you study that as an example, like little information about how the baby is made? Did you learn in school? Such a um, thing? Yes, a little bit. I love science. I have, I have, okay. I have many books and so, I read so, about that. And uh, yeah, so yeah. what do you think about the book? Says that the sperm of the man become a blood, dead blood. Is that what science says? You can go right now and search in your mm. language, you know, and you will find that this is this is silly. No, this of is, course this not. Is, this course. is stupid, you know. So in chapter twenty-three, verse number fourteen, and remember, we are not using interpretation. We are not using anything. We are just using using the Quran as it is in a plain way, because you said you don't believe in interpretation. You don't want them. Okay. So we have made the sperm into a yes. blood of a congealed blood, dead blood. What kind of God you say that? Yeah, that's sick. That's really, really sick. Since when the sperm oh, wow. will, will turn into a blood? This is what the baby... So the first stage in Islam, the baby, the baby was a sperm, and then the sperm became a blood. Who is the doctor who will say and accept such a thing? And you will see the Muslims, they fabricate the, the mean of this verse, and they have different translation, and they say, oh, it's like a clot. It's like a clot. Nowhere it says it's like a clot. It says we made it into a clot. You see how they lie in translation in order to fool people? Okay. They say, oh, you know what? The egg of the woman, yes, she go and she attach herself to the womb. Yes, exactly. And then they bring you a guy. His name is Dr. Moore. They brought him to Saudi Arabia. And this is what they told him. <laughs> Dr. Moore, they told him. It looked, it, 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 it became, he gave him a translation to fit with the lie. But as you see, it says we made the sperm into a clot, not like a clot. And there's a huge difference. So the Muslims, they added the word like a clot to make it, ah, this is about the egg. And do you see, first First of all, do you see the egg here? It says notfa. Notfa is not as, it's not that one, mm. one semen, you know, notfa is millions. The sperm is millions, you know, it's not, a, you know. So notfa is a drop of a sperm, a drop. It's not one so this is the first mistake the sperm of the man the drop this what not for me i can take it right now to dictionary forget about interpretation you will see it says not far it's a drop of water you know actually and different when we say that a drop of water you know uh uh, uh he mean uh, the the sexual water which is this uh, this uh, the sperm but uh, uh but the quran make it even more clear in chapter 86 he said and the you know خلق من ماء دافق. How clear we can make it. He was created from gushing forth water. You see, the translation here is saying he is created from a drop of emitted, emitted. Change the translate translator. I mean, each time you change the translator to different one, you feel like you are reading a new Quran. You know. He is created from water gushing forth. Is it true that we are created from water gushing forth? All the water? So all of this, and, and then he continues saying that it's proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. The backbone of who? The word here in At-Taraib is, is, is the breast, the chest of the women. So Muhammad claiming that his God told him that there is gushing forth sexual fluid coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Who in the world want to believe such a garbage? Women don't have a sperm anyway. And women don't have gushing forth water which will make a baby. And it's coming from where? Coming not only from the ribs, it's coming from the location of the necklace. This is what the Quran claim. So how that can be? And you know, if the Muslim will say this is a, this is your fabrication, I know you told me you don't you don't want the interpretation. But this is for the other Muslims who believe interpretation. Let us go there and see. Maybe Christian Prince is making things up. If we go to Ibn Kathir, which is very much respected by all, you know, the Muslims, you will see it says here, let us read together. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but I don't respect it at all. I know you don't, you don't, but just to show the Muslims that this is not me who's saying that, because they might say, oh, he's in this, he's, oh I mean, who cares what he say? This is what your scholar is saying. Read carefully, it says, uh, Sometimes I think, I think sometimes yeah. uh, these these last years, 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, meaning the sexual Sorry, fluid I, that I come just out the breast. The top tiers were, were made. Oh, man. Uh, 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 come out breasting no, no, from sorry, the man and the okay. women thus the child will proceed from both of them by permission of Allah and then he continue proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women which is referring to her chest <laughs> read it so if they want to say Christian Prince is giving <laughs> false reading to Arabic he don't know Arabic you know blah 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 here we go this is your scar the highest scars you have they are saying yes this so what kind of religion this religion is what kind of God he think women they have and that's why I'm not getting married don't get married man because according to Muhammad women they have a breast testicles you might <laughs> you might you might marry a woman you take her to the bedroom to you know to make babies and then she take off her clothes and instead of seeing seeing a, a breast you will find testicles there you know i was wondering all the time now since i read this i mean what what is under the bra obviously there's a big testicles you know women they have testicles according to muhammad and they are located inside the bra takbir so what do you think my friend do you want to stay as a muslim <laughs> Um, I am the only one no, who make Muslims love at Islam. So, what do you think? Yeah, I um, I appreciate. I I don't think it's it's uh, correct, and I think all these tafsirs they were uh, made by drunk guys, or they they uh, no, take no, 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 <laughs> drugs. The, I don't know, no, but my friend, I, no, my friend, Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir is saying is saying what he understand. The word tarib, he speak Arabic very well. He's an Arab. Uh, or tribe is the look is specifically a specific bones in the chest of the women so he's not mistaken and not only him i mean all the scholars agree so so when the quran says such a thing that said ibn kathir he cannot jump over it even though in the islamic translation they try to jump over it but you know it's 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 just stupid to jump over it you cannot it says it clearly proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs what they try to do today they say oh he is not talking about the women and the man but it says that the sperm of the man is coming from here to here i mean okay what is it what is left of the body of a human being what is missing is the legs and the arms if you say that the sperm is coming from the top of the chest all the way to the backbone well that's the body of the human being what is left you know i mean I, anyone can guess that if I, I can say the sperm is coming from you what is left so the the word tarib make it so clear and this is their scholar who is making it clear to us so what do you think very very clear um isn't it time for you to leave this time um, my friend can i be honest and uh, don't don't um, don't um, see this as an attack or something like that but uh, at first i when i saw your videos i thought you are uh, in a mission in a mission to to um destroy islam mm. you know not uh, please don't um, understand me wrong but um mm. i thought i thought really you are in a mission to i don't know maybe you get paid or something like that mm -hmm. um and i i've um it, uh, somewhere i read um, you are criminal but i don't mind that and please uh, trust me i don't mind that because we all have they told, um, they, been, they, they wrote about uh, me. i was uh, they wrote a criminal about me. guy hold on hold on they, they, they wrote about me article saying i'm a criminal um i i'm not sure wrote or uh, in youtube in in a video oh, oh, i don't okay. know um what it's called but they they wrote with with uh, many facts and I thought it doesn't matter because we all are humans we all uh, what facts? What made facts? mistakes facts? and um, I, I the important <laughs> thing is to, to believe in God <laughs> I'm a criminal oh. anyway so my friend after all that what, what the Muslim says about me no 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 don't I don't I don't say that I don't say that to you I just I know I know I know I know that's what they told read you about this I understand I understand but, I understand but what do you think now what do you think you know forget about me who care about me you know let us say for the for the sake of argument Christian Prince is a bad person who care I mean this is about you yes. it's about God this is about believing it's about you know believing just, just another just, just another question yeah you, you speak very good Arabic what does what does Akbar Akbar mean what does exactly mean exactly Akbar Akbar? Mean, Akbar. because if it is if, if, if it is just bigger then um, how is 
other big gods. So it, it's a question I don't know because for me is God the biggest and not okay. God is bigger. Bigger than who? Look with me, my friend. Bigger than who? This is the chapter 6, verse number 78. It says that Abraham, when he saw the sun coming, he says, yes. So when Abraham, he saw the sun coming up, raising up, he said, this is my God. This is Akbar. So what Akbar mean? If the Muslim they translate, they say greater. Okay, but uh, uh, greater there is word in Arabic for greater. You say Azim. We have we have many words for greater. What uh, Akbar? Akbar. You always compare between two things in the size. If you are comparing, as an example, it can be even for age. Like you know, uh, I am an uh, ana Akbar uminka umran. So I can say. I am older than you by using the word Akbar. So if you are, so which means the, the the word will be decide what it's meant based in the content of a content of the of the verse. So here he's talking about what? Talking about planets and stars. And he said this is Akbar. So what make the sun greater? Is it the size? Is it the power? Is it what it is? So when he say Akbar, he can say this is a greater. He can say the word greater. We have a greater in Arabic. Hada Azam. But he did not say that. He said Hada Akbar. And you can go right now, uh, uh, you know, uh, check the word Akbar. You will find that the word always have to be first between comparing between two. And if Allah is Akbar, that's mean they are let us say for the sake of argument if you go right now to the translation it says greater right okay but if you say that allah the god allah yeah. is a greater that's mean the other gods are great too but he's a greater yes that's my opinion that's very very confusing yeah very confusing. so the, 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 right. the so. it's the same when allah he says he is the best of the creators okay by saying that he is the best of the creators you agree that he is not the only creator and there is other gods because only God can be creators. So if you go in the Quran, you will find many verses like chapter 23, verse number 14 and chapter 37, verse 125. It says here, example, about, about uh, chapter 37, verse 125, you will, you will you call upon Baal. Baal is the God, right? God of the fertility, you know, and forsake the best of the creators. So when Allah, he compared himself to Baal and he says, are you going to worship Baal and forsake the, the, uh, the best of the creators? He, he admitted that Baal is God because he is saying that Baal is a creator. Can you show me that, please? Yeah, it's in the screen. Chapter 37, verse yeah. number okay, will you? 125. And we can change the translator, you know, will if you, you don't find this translation. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I um, understand more when I, when I uh, listen. But if I do, <laughs> yeah. if I talk, then it's a little bit uh, confusing. But I hope you understand me. So, so are you um, going to worship Baal so and forsake talk? the best of the creators? Okay, but uh, when Allah he compared himself to Baal and he claimed that he is better than him in a creation. So Allah and Baal are a creator, but Allah claiming that he is the best. Oh man, that's really sick. Uh, which surah is this? Again, can I, can chapter, I, thir chapter 37, which verse 125. Oh, oh man. If we ask the Muslims how many creators oh, there, there that, is, they would say really only sick. Allah. Okay, but Allah, he says, no, he is the best of the creators. It's, if there is no other creator, and Allah he says he's the best of the creators, means that he's lying. If I say I'm the best student and I am the only student, obviously I am lying. I'm giving false report. If I say I am the best builder in the town and I am the only builder, that's mean I am a liar if I do that. So uh, 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 th this is this is obviously stupid. And not only that, by the way, if you go and check the source of this, Very. you will find that the one who said that sentence, it was a man, his name is Abdullah ibn Surah. Muhammad was reciting the Quran when he was reading chapter 23. 
and uh, when he arrived, when he said, he arrived to here to this area, he said, as he said, and Shaknahu Khalqan Akhara, then the guy, Abdullah, who is the inscribe of Muhammad, he said, Fatabarakallahu Ahsanul Khaliqeen. Muhammad, he said to him, okay, put it there, add it. He said, but I am the one who said that, not you. He said, yes, Allah, he gave it to me too. Then the guy, he said to himself, well, if, if Allah, he gave to Muhammad what I, he gave to me before him, that's mean I am prophet too. Because as I'm the one who said, imagine you are, you are my secretary and you are writing Quran, which is inspired from God to me. And then you say a sentence Allah did not say to me yet. And then I say to you, okay, put it there. I said, but this is what I said. He said, yeah, put it there. So now the, the man, Abdullah ibn Surah, he discovered that Muhammad is a fraud. He liked what he said, and he liked it to be added to the Quran. So what do you think? If I am you, I will leave Islam. I mean, what, what is left of this cult? A guy, he marries six years old child. He is a thief. He is a criminal. You know, what do you think about a God? You know, I don't want to insult your family. But what if somebody, he's a prophet, he comes to your town and he say, hey, uh, 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 your name is uh, uh, Vol Volan? Volan? Volan, Volan, Volan. Volan. Okay, Volan. hey, Volan. I am v a V H L O N. Okay, Volan. I am a prophet of Allah, and Allah told me that all the women in town they can give themselves to me to sleep with me. What do you will say to him? Is oh, what... I will knock him out, man. Yeah, well, <laughs> this is this is what Muhammad he said. In chapter 33, verse number 50, he made a chapter saying, any Muslim woman, she want to give herself to the Prophet so he can have sex with her. What What is that? And a believe in women, if she offer herself to the Prophet, I mean, what the business is this guy coming to teach us about? What does this have to do with God? What does this have to do with religion, what does this have to do with knowing God? What does this have to do with going to heaven? Why Muslim women, they have to give themselves, offer themselves. The guy already have tons of women. He, he have no enough and he want more. So, okay, you know, I want you please uh, to tell you, to, just to let you know that Allah, uh, you know, uh, he uh, said to me, any woman, she can give herself to me. What is this? Be honest with yourself. What does this have to do with God? Yeah, that's sick, man. I have... Especially yeah, the man. I'm honest. Especially I, the man. I have a the man. Of tears in my eyes. Yeah, the man is already. No, he's not single. Like you know, uh, desperate to find a woman to marry him. He has thirteen wives already. He has hundreds of, of uh, six slaves. So what in the top of that? Any believing woman she want to offer herself. What does that mean? And it's for free. He don't even have to pay. He don't have even to. to she don't have to get permission from her parents. He don't have to pay dowry. He don't have to do anything. It's a free gift. She offer herself for sex. This is from God. Oh man, oh man, no, exactly not, no. Okay. Sure not. So I advise you, my friend, right now, oh, man, yeah. to leave the cult. You are smarter than this, yeah. and it's not for your honor. You know, your honor and your honor of your family demolished under Islam. So you have to free yourself. You know, you will not accept. Somebody coming to your sister with my respect to their family saying, hey, I am a prophet, offer yourself to me. That's not from God. That's really sick. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 definitely. No, for sure not. For sure not. That's right. not God. That It would be God. It would be a sick God. But I don't think God is, is like that. Exactly. Never, ever. So my friend, Never, Ronald, ever. What, Never, do you, ever. what do you think about, about leaving Islam right now as we speak? It's a religion about um, about just focus on Muhammad, how he would like to treat others or uh, his wives or. It's made oh, for man. him. It's made yeah. for him to glorify him, to worship him, to sleep yeah. with him, to give yeah. him money. Everything is made for him. Even Allah, He created the earth and the heaven for His sake. So, do you agree with me that Islam is false, my friend? Yeah, I think 100% it's, it's an uh, handmade religion. That's wonderful. I'm happy for so you. It's, um, it's a little bit for me now. 
for me now it's a little bit confusing because I thought you will you wouldn't wouldn't um, come with uh, explains or with with uh, answers, but um, but um, it's it's a story uh, also from Zaid and Zainab. I thought it's it's um, it's not good translated, but I have searched uh, by myself, and if I, when I saw that, I thought, man, what this, what is this? And I, that was that was the reason um, I called you. I, I, um, I'm man. I question everything, you know. I, but the Quran doesn't teach you that. You don't have to question because if you question, you go to hell. So. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I thank God. I thank God for. Um, for your answers, because you speak very well uh, Arabic and uh, Farjaha, it's um, uh, in different languages. It's not explained or tra um, translated like vagina, but what kind of God speaks like this? And I, I, I talk to every Muslim is watching now. Please question this religion, man. Please question this religion because it's like a prison. It's like a prison for our soul. Really. My friend, as, like a prison. as long we, you as long you to understand other, as long you understand now, Islam is like a prison. Islam is is a, is a cult. You know, I would like to ask you, what do you think about accepting Christ as your savior? Um, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm afraid of that a little bit. Be, I hope you understand me because since I'm. Uh, I, um I'm born I I thought when I when I worship a man or something like that that um I have to go to hell because because Allah in the Quran said that and other Muslims how can you worship a man and he's a, he's a man he eats he drinks and how that could be God and so on and so on and so on you, you see, know you see, and, is, um, is, is, but is, my, is my uh, opinion is my friend is God is about how we imagine him yeah. to be or what he is so if God he come to me as a man first of all can God come as a man can he I mean is he is he powerful to the point he can come as a man or he is not powerful because if he's a powerful he can come as you wish yeah. he can come as a bird he can come as a man he can come wherever yeah, he, wants. he can do everything okay so that's why we call him almighty God so the idea of a God coming as a man and, and we are not worshiping a man for we, at the end of the day, we are worshiping God. So if God, he came to us as a man, what well, does not make him a man? Still, he is God because this man who is his name is Jesus, as we call him man, you know, still he can resurrect people from death. He can tell you what you hide in your houses. He can make the blind see. He can heal the leper. He can create from the mother bird. The Quran is saying that supposedly. So how come we remember that he is a man when we want and we forget that he is doing what God can do. So if he is a man, then he should do what man can do only. I am a man. If I say to you, I'm God, people will laugh at me. They will say, okay, resurrect people from death. Make the blind see, you know, uh, walk in the water. Can you walk in the water? Can you? Okay, uh, go ahead. You know, let's see, uh, do what God can do. So I will not be able to do that. And then people will laugh at me. Like the guy in Pakistan, uh, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam in India, um, you know, he claimed to be the Messiah. And then second day, they brought him like a hundred people in wheelchair. They cannot talk. They cannot walk. They are, there's a blind people. They line up. They said, okay, if you are the Messiah, do what the Messiah do. Then he closed the door. He hide inside. So to be the Messiah is to do what the Messiah do. And if the Messiah is just a man, then the Messiah should not do what the man does. He should not do that, right? So what the man does, the man, he do sin. Jesus did not do sin. The man sin. The man greedy, he want money. Jesus never, never want money. So in the top of all things, Jesus did not do what the man do. He did only what God does. He was, you know, holy. He was powerful. He was wise. And now he is in heaven. All of this miracle. He is a yeah, miracle. Not indeed. only not only yeah. he did a miracle, my friend. He is a miracle. He himself is a miracle. For God is a miracle. The word miracle is something you cannot comprehend. That's why we call it miracle. Yeah. Yeah. So when we talk about the Messiah, we are talking about yeah. something 
nobody can really describe in the way it deserved to be because everything about him is more than amazing I am a man you are a man but all of us we commit sin Jesus never did commit sin even the Quran in chapter 19 verse 19 says the Holy Son so even the Quran the book of the devil described Jesus as he is the Holy Son you know who will be sent to Mary well what make him Holy Son what make him Holy Son how he became holy what make him holy so you know when when a, when a Muslim he tried to, to explain that to us he say well Muhammad is a holy no Muhammad in the Quran is a filthy sinner this is what the Quran says this is why uh, the Quran says may Allah forgive to you Muhammad your sin may Allah okay if Allah may forgive Muhammad's sin and Muhammad he is a sinner in the past he is a sinner in the future and this is in chapter 48 verse number 2 uh, we cannot compare him to Jesus so when, where Jesus described he is he is holy and he is he said peace be on me the day I am born the day I am I am I die the day I am resurrected this is the Quran where in the Quran it says that may Allah forgive your sin Muhammad hmm? in the past and the one to come I mean Muhammad after became a prophet is not a better person he's still committing sin after he became prophet while well, Jesus never commits sin so when they say yeah, to you Jesus I, you, you have to know that I go ahead um, Jesus Jesus was for me uh, every time every time um, very special I felt he was an um, how can I say that it's um, not just a mir miracle but um, everything he, he he did it was it was not from this world um, it's a chapter in I know in the, I don't know the verse in uh, in the Bible but I remember that because I liked it very much um, it was a woman, and I think she did very um, big sins. Uh, I don't want yeah, to use this word, yeah. um, but they were, yeah, yeah, yeah. but but uh, the, the people were throwing um, stones, and uh, he said the first one who is without sins should uh, drop the first stone. Yeah, yeah so for me, know, many places, like very, example, very, in John, um, how can I say that? Lovely. Yeah, in John, he told them, you are from below and from above. John, John uh, chapter 8, verse 23. And, jo and John 18, uh, 36, he said, my kingdom is not from this world. So there is many, but this is, you see, a talk is cheap. I can say that too. You can say that too, correct? Talk is cheap. I can say, my yeah. kingdom is not. Anyone can say that. But the issue is, can I do what Christ did? You know what I mean? It's not the talk will make you okay. yeah, who you yeah. claim. It's what you can do. So when we say God Almighty, then we are talking to God Almighty who have a might. He can do anything. So when the Muslims they say how God can be a human, they just deleted the word God from in front of their God because their God cannot be a human. They cannot. So how God can be God then if he cannot? When the Quran says how Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend, well, that's mean he cannot have, he cannot be God too. Because obviously he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. So in, in, in order to have a son according to the God of Muhammad, you have to have a girlfriend and then you can have a son. But Jesus, he do not need uh, such a thing Mary she have a son but she don't have a boyfriend so if the Quran if, if if Allah is the God of Mary and Mary she have a miracle that she have a son without marriage without a sexual relationship how come Mary can do that or the God of Mary can do that but Allah he says to us how he can have a son without having a wife so obviously the God of Mary is not Allah the God of Mary, he can make someone have a son without marriage. The God of Islam confirmed to us in the Quran, chapter 6, verse 101, that he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend.
No oh, man, what the sickness. <laughs> so what do you think, my friend? I, I, I invite you to believe in Christ because now you left Islam, but you know what? You want to be an atheist? No, I, I have still in my uh, in my deepest insight, so um, I believe uh, in God, the Almighty. Um, I thought Allah is the Almighty, but uh, you explained different verses, and uh, this is not for me an Almighty God, to be honest. It's not, not a little bit uh, or something like that. It's, it's uh, more trash, and uh, yeah, I don't know. So, I what, do you say that, so but, what, what do you think about it? Um, a few minutes ago... Yeah? Um, I want to know what do you think about Christ? I don't know. I'm very, very confused. Right? Yeah, I, I open, um, open your heart and think about I'm, it. I mean, I'm, I'm there is confused. there is something wrong about Christ. There is something wrong. I mean, not even his name is unique. No, no. You know, his act is holy. Did yeah. Christ go after women when he was yeah. in this earth? Did he say any woman she want to give herself? Did Jesus? He said, "Give me money, I will forgive you." As Muhammad, he said. Did Jesus say, uh, you know, I, I support the rich? Like what happened, when, when uh, if you go to the chapter of Abasa, Abasa wa Tawalla, when Muhammad was busy with the rich people, and the blind man, he come to him, and he, Muhammad, he kick him away. Abasa wa Tawalla in Jahul Ama, chapter 80. What kind of a prophet? Look what happened to Jesus when the blind man come to him, and look what happened to Muhammad when the blind man come to him. When the blind man come to Muhammad, Muhammad, he gave him a face, get out of here, I'm busy with who? If you read the story, you will see he was busy with the rich men of Quraysh, the tribe. While Jesus, when he was walking in the street and a blind man, he come to him, he says, Lord, I want to see. Lord, I want to see. Did Jesus say to him, you are just a poor, I'm here for the rich, who care for you? He made him see. He touched his eyes. He took time for yeah, his I like time. Very, I very like his actions. Yeah. Yeah. You see, yeah. imagine this. You are someone who can do miracles, which people can, can drive people crazy. I mean, amazing. This person, he can raise people from death, right? So imagine you are that person. How 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 much important you will be? Imagine you uh, right now. If I can do one of the things Jesus he can do, let us say the, making the blind see. How many million blind people will be lying in front of my house? You know what I mean? Just for doing that, and how yeah. rich and how rich I will be? How rich you know? How powerful I will be? Imagine if I can raise people from death. Every president, every king will do, bow down under my shoes to keep them alive. So. Jesus, he can do such a thing. Yet, when the blind poor man, he walked to him and he said, Lord, I want to see what Jesus said to him. Did he say to him, I'm busy? He helped him. Did he say to him, you are just crazy fool? Who care if you want to see or not? Jesus, not only he gave him his time, he gave him his touch, he gave him eyes, and he said to him, see. Jesus did what nobody did to a poor blind man. So this is not only about making him see, this is about Jesus caring for someone he is no one in the society. In that time, if you are a blind man, you are homeless. You are jobless. Nobody feed you. Your family will hate you because you, you depend on them. You depend on others. You cannot do anything. You cannot wash your clothes. You cannot even take a shower. You don't know how to walk in the street. So Jesus, he stopped. And he did to the blind what nobody did. And here, notice with me, like there's a question we should ask ourselves. Why even the man who is a blind, he said to Jesus, I want to see. I mean, you should ask him for food. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. if I'm a blind man, I am in the yeah. street, and I see a person, let us say he is famous, he is well known, I will say to him, please help me, give me food, give me shelter, give me etc. The man did not ask for food. The man did not ask for shelter. 
The man, he said to him, he asked for something nobody can do. I want to see. That's mean the man who is blind, he is better than us in vision. He was able to see Jesus that he is God, yet he is blind. And remember Jesus said, I am the light of the world. So when the blind man, he asked Jesus to see, he was asking the perfect person to do so, yet he was blind. And that remind us about ourselves, how blind we are, that we have eyes, yet we don't want to see. Yet a blind exists in the road 2,000 years ago when he heard about Jesus. He cannot see him. He heard Jesus is coming. So he came. He want to touch Jesus. He want to talk to him. Jesus, the Lord, please, I want to see. And then he made him see. But I, I thought it's not with um, with uh, law of of God because it's a chapter I don't know in the Bible where someone asks um, Jesus when will the day of the resurrection will be and he didn't know the answer he said no just actually, the Father in the heavens no my friend that. in the same in how the, how in, is that to understand it yeah uh, in the same chapter this is what the Muslim they say to you uh, where it says that. Only the Father knows. It's the same chapter Jesus said, when this happened, and 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 this happened, then the day will be. So when Jesus said, only the Father knows, he is talking about announcing the event, when this event will happen. Because in Christianity, we don't have a preset date. Jesus himself, he said that the judgment day, the Lord will come like, like, a, like, a, you know, like a thief when he come at night. For sure, I'm not comparing him to the thief, but the same as a thief when he comes when nobody knows, nobody's surprised. So it's not meant to know when it's going to happen. So when Jesus said, only my father, for Jesus, he is saying that the father is the one who have the authority to announce it. He is the head of the house. And when those things happen, then that they will happen, which means the faster we corrupt the earth. Uh, the faster the judgment day will happen. Not the, not it's not like a preset time, you know. Like you know, uh, uh, in the Old Testament, speaking about Sodom and Gomorrah. So, if there was ten honest people, God will not destroy the cities. There's only ten decent for the sake of ten. So, that is what will happen in Christianity. If there is people who they are decent still, the judgment day will not come. The day, the faster we corrupt this earth, the faster the day will come. So they lie to you. If you read the same chapter, you will find the story. You know when the Quran oh, says when, when the Quran says that Jesus he can tell you what you hide in your in your uh, in your uh, in your house well obviously Jesus he knew the unseen he knew the future he knew the past that's what the Quran is saying he knew he can tell you what you had in your house so how Jesus he do not know so the Muslim they take a statement and they make a story of it but the same chapter confirmed that Jesus he knew and he is the one who will come back. They forgot. Even in Islam, he is the one who will come back. In the judgment day, you will be standing in front of Jesus, my friend. <laughs> not in the front of Muhammad. Not in the front of Allah. What do you think? If I am you, you know, because you never know, you might go to sleep, me and you, we don't wake up, you know, tomorrow never come. Salvation, it's not always there, you know, there is a time, there's a point where salvation is not offered no more. After we die, that's it.
Yeah, I know that I am, uh, as I told you before, I'm a guy who questions everything and I have to question. No problem, I'm here to help you. This, this is why I'm giving. Show, uh, no problem, you can ask my friend. I'm here with you. I'm not saying to you, accept. No, I don't want you to accept. We, we are not people who believe in Shahada. You have to be a believer to believe, not to say words. We don't believe in yeah. such a thing. You have to be a believer. We don't accept hypocrites. You know, because if you say I believe and you don't believe really, you are a hypocrite. Because I had a, I had a um, hard time also. I was um, a little bit suicidal uh, thinking. And um, I thought if I if I do suicide, um, I will go to hell because um, that's in Islam. So, but... Um, then I found back to Islam, and um, it gave it gives it gave me hope, and that's the reason because I'm now a little bit confused because uh, you showed me different things I've not read about that, and um, not of this way, and um, yeah, well, yeah, you know, so aside, so aside is not bit, so aside um, is a bad sin. Don't do that ever. Don't think about it. You know, God, he gave you a gift. It's called life. You have no right to take it away. Not for your life, not the life of others. In the same time, my friend, uh, you know, Jesus, he said, I did not come to judge the world, but to save. So the world you are living right now in is a, ch is a chance. It's an opportunity to live so you can accomplish your salvation. But he said in the same chapter, if we go to chapter uh, John chapter 12, you will say, the, but the one who reject me and does not receive my words he has a judge I will be his judge the word I have spoken will judge him on the last day so Jesus words to you is going to be the judge upon you in the judgment day that I came to you you rejected me so for now you have the life you are alive you can accept you can refuse you can say I want to be Muslim, you can say I want to be Christian, you can say I want to be Hindu, atheist, whatever you want. But the Messiah made it clear that he is the judge who will judge you. But now he is not judging you. Now he came to save you. So time will go. And what like what we are questioning, are we questioning how moral Jesus was, how good he was? No. So what we are questioning, why you are still not convinced? Um, I don't know. I, it's, uh, there are different things in my head, but I um, also read a, a comment. I was talking about. I was talking about uh, suicide and so on. And I, I am um, read many of the chat room. Very good, very good things. But one of them, this uh, Andreas Arga. Uh, right cry baby so um people without heart i don't know my friend don't worry about people in the religion chat religion don't, don't worry don't worry about my friend don't worry about people in the chat who care what people say in the chat people they call me names there you know uh, don't you see i mean who care if you if you worry about what people say about you well you know people there is all kind of people god knows you know the earth is full of them there's crazy people there's smart people there's silly people there's stupid people don't let anyone affect you you know let let yourself be free the lord he said read the books search the books and find the truth and the truth will set you free and i am the truth so people are people i am one of them i can be wrong i can be bad i can be good but you should not do things because of people you should do things because it's right don't do what is wrong and do what is right not be because people say so because people they say whatever they wish people they might even take you to hell somebody want to say let us have drugs somebody say let us have a party somebody let us say uh, let us have a whiskey let us say have etc so everybody have his own uh, you know business but you have your own business this is why i i just told you what jesus said about the day when he come to you Right now, he is not judging you, but he will come. Oh, man. Um, 
I don't know if you were in, um, in your life so confused like me right now, but um, don't be confused. My I friend. Don't thank be confused. you from my heart. But... Don't be confused. There's nothing. No, no. I, I, I thank you from my with my heart uh, for your for your good words, for your motivating words. Um, may the Almighty God bless you. I don't know right now where uh, the. Uh, who the mighty, mighty God is, but I um, I hope God will show me the right path, and um, my friend, I will find the truth, man. John, because... in the book of John, chapter nine, it says, Jesus, he said to them, "If you were blind, you yeah. would have no guilt. But now that you say we see, your guilt is remain." So. Those people who, you know, I don't want you to be one of them. I can say I'm blind. And because I'm blind, you cannot blame me for not seeing. But as long now you see and you saw that Islam is false. And you know that Jesus, there's no one like him. So what is preventing you from accepting Jesus? I don't see any reason. I'm not going to push you to accept him, by the way. I'm just trying to explain to you, trying to help you. I don't want you to feel like I'm putting pressure on you to say, yes, yes. accept the Messiah. No, don't do that. I'm just saying to you what Jesus, I'm, I'm quoting for you what Jesus said, so you can help yourself and understand better. People make all kinds of excuses. But there is a point where there's no more excuses. We are just making them up. So don't uh, practice Islam in the old days because in Islam always you make excuse. Oh, it's Allah will, right? This is what the Muslims say. They, you know, if somebody kills somebody, it's Allah will. No, it's not Allah will. Allah will you kill them? <laughs> you know, even even Muhammad he said, if a person he commit if a person he commit adultery, it is Allah who made him commit adultery. So why you want to punish him? You know, for adultery if you are the one who forced him to do adultery. So. With the Christ, life is different. With the Christ, understanding is different. With the Christ, your spirit is exist. With Islam, you are just a body. Eat, and your heaven is just a place where you go and become more a physical being, more addicted to sex, drink, food, women, boys. That is Islam. With Christ, you are a different person. You are a different creature. I'm a little bit um right now very emotional. It's um I'm very 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 confused um because I didn't um how can I say that I thought it would be another ending like uh, um in compare of this ending and um because I as I told you I I question everything um it's my nature I love this. Um, but I didn't know these things um, in the Quran and in this way and you speak very good Arabic and uh, you explained me that and it's uh, imagination is um, like destroyed you know um, you you are believing so for so many years and then bam Oh, man. I understand. Anyway, you know, oh, I, uh, I because I, you know, I, I won't go ahead. Uh, sorry. Because I, I have, I have um, something in my mind. If I, if I know the, if I knew, if I know the right God, the God who is Almighty, and um, then it's for me very serious because I'm, I'm in different ways. I'm a Syrian person. Syrian, uh, serious person. I, uh, when I would marry uh, a girl, uh, a woman, sorry, um, I will be honest in all all matters. So, in in religion too. But I didn't find the religion in last uh, weeks um, that way that is honest or that it's um, 
um, everything okay. So when I when I smell something, it's not good. Then I question this, and um, yeah, because I didn't question the Islam because of a big reason, uh, fear. I thought if I question too many things, I will go to hell and uh, forever. My friend, God, He gave you a brain for a reason, oh, man. so you can ask, not not to question. The only one who don't want you to ask questions is the one who don't want you to know. Very simple, right? Don't ask, because if you ask, yeah. we have either one of two options: either you we answer you, or we say to you we do not know. <laughs> either one is, is is bad. So, in in Christianity, you know, you can question Christ. You can question his purpose. You can question what he did. You can question everything. Like somebody would say to you, the Old Testament said that there was a, a, a killing, war. You know, uh, Christ is not always about love, etc. You see, people they are they, when when people they want to create, uh, let us say, an objection, they will find it. We when we when we speak about the Jews who lived thousands of years ago, we talk about that time where everybody killed them, everybody enslaved them, everybody wanna rape their women. So they have been they've been given the right to survive between those evil people around them. But when when we speak about Christ, Christ he said to us, Don't be worried about those who destroy your body. Worry about those who destroy your soul. So there's a nation who want to survive by body so they can preserve themselves. And there's an individual who is following Christ, who don't care for his body, but he care for the survival of his soul, his spirit. So fear not those who like Muhammad, who want to kill you, but fear, fear Muhammad if he kill your spirit. If Muhammad kill your body, you are a murderer, you are going to be in my heaven. But if Muhammad, he kill your spirit, he made you convert to Islam, then you are dead. Then you are in hell. That is the fear. I know what you are, uh, what you mean. Um... Um, I have to think about that. No problem. But I um. Okay. Well, if you I'm if very, you don't don't I'm say very, it. Very very appreciate your. No problem, my friend. Don't don't hesitate. If you like any time to call me and tell me what you know. If you make a decision, I will be happy to hear you. And if you not if now if 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 the Lord he touched your heart right now, you can say it. It's up to you. I'm not the one. I'm not the one who can think for you. I'm not the one who can decide for you. I'm here just to help you to give you, you know, answers. Maybe you need, maybe you need. But I'm sure you are a smart person and you know what what is right for you. Yeah. And I will be happy actually to talk to you if you have your wife, um, your family. You. you want them, to, you know, to explain to them about the Bible. I will be happy to talk to all your family. So we we only not save you. We can save the whole family, and we bring them all to Christ. And I did that to many, many, many people. So don't think you are the first. If you want, you just can have them just next to you and they can listen to me. They can ask the questions. They can even tell you, you ask the questions. I, you know, I don't need to hear them and I will be happy to help. Thank you for this very much, Christian Prince. You're welcome, my friend. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Still, I, want, I wanted much. really from my heart, I wanted you to believe um, today before you go, but I cannot push it. You know, I mean, I'm just doing, doing my best to help you, but it's something you feel not something I want. You know what I mean? I want it to happen, but it's not me who can decide it. It's you. You know? In you know, in John chapter 3, verse 16, it says, yeah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And this is what I wanted to you. I wanted you to, to believe in him for one reason. I, uh, Christ, he will not get a benefit from this. I will not get any benefit from this. It is you only who get the benefit. This is what the Bible says, that whatever, whomever believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. So with the Christ, you will have the eternal life. And the eternal life of Christ is not about virgins. 
is not about shish kebab and hummus as Muhammad made it. This is a human being who is living in the bar, grow up in the bar. He want a bar. Jesus, his eternal life is different. His heaven is holy. His followers will live in a happiness, have nothing to do with any of those garbage we see. All those things around us are temporarily. Even when you enjoy food, for how long you will keep eating and what the point? I mean, it's a food at the end of the day. Uh, uh, sex is the same. So those are temporary pressure. But God who gave us those temporary pressure, don't you think he can give us way better pleasure? All pleasure we have in our life is gift from God. So if somebody want to say, well, what do you, uh, what God will give us more? Well, how you know about the pleasure of sex if God did not give you that pleasure? How you know about the pleasure of food if God did not give you the ability to taste? So the one who gave us pleasure, which can make you motivated to do something, can't he give us a pleasure higher, way higher, way noble than food and sex and money? He's the God who created us. So with the Messiah, you will have eternal life, which is you will be a new person. You will not be sad to think about suicide as you did. Think about it. You will not be desperate. You will not be bored. You will not be upset, for you will be living a perfect life with him. These words are very, 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 um, how can I say that? Very kind, very motivating. And I, I will think, um, if God will, about that. And um, I, will, I wouldn't call um, God uh, Allah or something like that because it's, Allah is just the God. It's separated. It's in our article and um, um, the word God. But I, I hope... God the Almighty will show me the I mean the right way I will path, pray for you uh, the right path and, and I ask all the Christians here to pray for you too we pray that the Lord the Almighty he opened the you. eyes of our brother here and I believe that you are maybe not halfway you are very close uh, to accept him as Savior and feel free to contact me you know when I go live on air you can text me and I will call you and if there's something more we can do, I will be happy to do. I'm here, your servant, my friend. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much, my friend. May God Almighty bless you. Thank you very much. Take care. And again, I, I will be waiting for you to call me, okay? Yes. All thank right. you. Have a nice day, you Christian too. Prince. Take care. Bye bye. All right. Well, we have a very good time with our friend here from Albania. I wanted really, I mean, I wanted to hear a different uh, ending. <laughs> but, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's him. It's him who, how he feel, what he think. It is him. It is his salvation. It is his life. It is a future. For us, we do what we think is right. And we, you know, we try to help the Muslims and we invite them the best invitation, which is to accept the Messiah. There is no better invitation than this invitation. And this is a clear proof that we love the Muslims. We will never hate them. Let us see if we have more Muslims calling or trying to call. And by the way, today I made it in this time. So people who live in Europe, they can join us. Let us see. Uh... Okay. All right. I'm trying to find if we have any Muslims. We have the guy who called me from yesterday. 
If I show you what he is saying to me, you will laugh. <laughs> Let me show you what this guy is saying. How dare you? How dare you convert a Muslim? Debate me right now. You cannot accept cause. You cannot debate me. I destroyed you last time. Admit it. <laughs> Let us call this the secure one. All right, my friend. Hello? Hello? Hello, you can you hear me? Yeah, you are the one who destroyed me last time, right? Yeah. You know what? Since yesterday, I have I have bruises all over my body because of you. I cannot believe it. So, you know, tell us tell me what 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 do you want me to say? What do you like to say? What do you think? Listen, I'm uh -huh. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. You deconverted somebody from the religion of Islam. Do you know what you've done, brother? You have made him into hellfire. You are responsible for somebody sent to hell. But the Quran says you will go to hell anyway. Isn't it the Quran says No, 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 brother, 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 listen, listen, listen. If mm. somebody commits shirk, if mm. somebody commits sin, mm. do you know what happens? Do you know what happens? What you happened? do prayers, you do fasting, you do Ramadan, and you get forgiven. Ah, oh, okay. But you know, listen, but isn't it Allah, he says, Allah, don't forgive those who commit shirk? So how how if you do Ramadan um, you will be forgiven? Allah. You made that up. You made you making up verse for making up verses. You are making up verses on the spot. No, I am not. You know. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> no, I did not. You know the Quran says Allah. I'm going for guidance. Okay. I'm going for okay. guidance of okay. Allah. Okay, read read with me. Read with me. Chapter four, verse number forty-eight. Go ahead. It's Arabic. I, I I can't read Arabic. No Arabic, English, English. In brother, brother, I cannot it, read it Arabic. My friend, it's in English, English. Brother, I cannot read Arabic. Read in English, read in English. You don't know Arabic. Brother, brother, I, I do not know Arabic. I know you don't know Arabic. It. Look, I'm it's in Arabic. Don't, it's Arabic. Don't, no, it's in English. Read it in English. Chapter 4, verse number 48. Chapter 4, verse number 48. Hmm. Let me read this. Sunan Nasiya. Allah does not forgive associating others with him. Okay, so... Yeah, so, he never committed shirk. He never believed in Jesus Christ no, as God. But this is mean. But this is mean all the campaign of Muhammad, they will not go to heaven, they will go to hell because all of them, they used to uh, do shirk. Abu Bakr, Omar, No, 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 no. Yeah, no, them, no, 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 no. Brother, 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 brother. Do not... <laughs> no, 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 no. Now you're corrupting the Quran. No, <laughs> you're laughing. You're laughing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm because you're <laughs> Abdul, listen. You correct in the Quran. Abdul, listen. Okay. <laughs> who was the who was the first Muslim? Who, who was the first Muslim in Mecca? Who was the first Muslim? Give me the name. Uh I don't know. Muhammad, isn't it? Muhammad the first that. Muslim? He's the prophet. Muhammad is not the first Muslim. No, 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 He's no. Not? Muhammad is not the first Muslim. The uh -huh. first Muslim is Abraham. Abraham was the first Muslim. Ah, uh -huh. okay. So uh Okay, let us go to the Quran then. Mm. The I Quran? read the Quran. You do you 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 do not understand the Quran. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, did Abraham came to Mecca? Uh, yes. Okay, and so Abraham, Muhammad is not the first one who came to Mecca, correct? No, correct. Mm. Okay. All right. Let us see what the Quran said, because as I know. You are wrong about this, you know. Let us see. Uh, according to the Quran, uh, it says, "Can you give me like a week to to, to find the verses?" No. No. You find a no, no, no. You find the verse now. Hmm. Okay. But uh, I need uh, some time, you know, like I'm looking right now. I cannot find it. So what do you think what we will do? You now? can find it. Look for it. Mm -hmm. look, I will look it up. I will search it. Oh, okay. Abraham, Abraham, Abraham went to Mecca. I, mm -hmm. I searched this. Okay. Look, Muslims well, believe Abraham. Exactly. Okay. The two, weeks, the two weeks is the two. The two weeks is over. Chapter 43, verse number 23. 
Alhamdulillah. Allah give me guidance in this debate. Oh wait. It says what? It you says, don't have God on your side. Hold on, hold on. It says here in this verse. It says what? It says that we never send any uh, like any uh, 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 any village or any town. If you want uh, to, you know, destroy it, we will send bad people to it, and that will make it be destroyed. So what? What's your point? No, I'm saying that did Allah send Abraham to destroy the town, or he was the the good guy? Who was the good guy? He is. The... No, he. Hmm. He well, he Abraham came to destroy the pagan um, statues and stuff. Okay, so when, well. when Abraham he came to Mecca, the people they said to Abraham yeah. that you are a bad person. The verse saying that like each time we send a messenger, a warner to to uh, people, you know, the rich one. Or the bad one, they say to him, you know, we we uh, we are following the religion before us. Who was living in Mecca when Abraham came? What? Who was living in, in Mecca when Abraham came? The pagan people. So there was pagan in Mecca before Abraham. Yes. Ah, yeah. The army shrikeen, correct? Yes. But you just said I just showed you that Allah forgive not. Shirk. So if if Abraham come in to guide them to worship Allah and Allah forgive not those who did shirk. So what the point of sending Abraham? Well, Abraham had to fulfill um his mission. Yeah, but but anyway, Allah will not forgive them anyway. So what the no point? no 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 listen no 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 listen listen listen. Hmm. The rule against shirk came after Abraham, not before him. But you just said there was people was in Mecca before Abraham and they were mushrikeen. Yes. Okay. So yes. Abraham he come the, to them. The rule against Shirk. So okay. So Abraham he come to them and he says to them. He said to them, uh, "I am here to guide you to Allah." But the Quran says, "I am not. I'm not. You know, uh, uh, Allah said, I'm not going to forgive them." So what the point of sending Abraham or Muhammad? And that's the that's an miracle of Allah. Uh -huh. But miracle. He said he will not forgive them. In the same time, he will. You, no, no, no. He said he forgive after that. He okay. Would, he made a new rule. All right. You said Abraham is the first one to come to Mecca or or Adam. Oh, uh, no. Adam never went to Mecca. Adam okay. Never went so to Mecca. number two is what? Abraham. Yeah, Abraham is one. Adam never went to Mecca. No, according to Muslims, Adam is the one who built the Kaaba. No, Abraham built the Kaaba. No, uh, Abraham. Who he, told you that? Abraham, he left up the Kaaba because after the flood, it was destroyed. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. He built the second one. Uh -huh. yeah. So now we have, we agree, me and you, that Adam and Abraham and Isaac, they were, uh, sorry, and uh, Ishmael, they were there. Okay, but here, chapter 34, verse number 44, it says, there's nobody came to Mecca before Muhammad. Um, I don't know where, where is it. Show it, show it. You're lying. You lie. You lie. Ch you lie. Chapter 34. Don't shout, otherwise, I will hang up on you. Chapter 34, verse number 44. Well, put it up. I don't see it. It's in the screen. What verse again? Chapter 34, verse number 44. Okay. Um, let me read it real quick. Let me get my Quran. It says, They say so, even though we have never given any scriptures to study, nor did we even sent a warner before you, O Prophet. Okay, so, 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 how you Muslim you say that Muhammad is, uh, uh, you know, there's Abraham was there, Adam was there, Ishmael was there, and then the Quran says, We never sent to them a book or a messenger before you. I don't really understand. Hmm. Well, you know, I don't get it. Okay, no problem. When you understand, you let me know. Okay. And guys, don't tell me hang up. If you don't like to listen, go. Don't tell me what to do. When people don't like what you hear, close YouTube and leave to the different page. We are not here uh, uh, the TV show to change for you the channel. So look at this. Muslims, they claim that Allah, he sent Adam, he sent Abraham, he sent Ishmael to Mecca. In the same time, he say that people of Mecca, they never receive 
a book before neither a messenger before so how that can be any Muslim would like to call the reason I you know hang up on him he shout you know he's just like um, I don't know weirdo <clears throat> Anyone? Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim can tell us how this contradiction can happen? If you say that Muhammad is the first messenger to the Arab, but don't you say Muslims that Ishmael is the father of the Arab? And don't you say that Muhammad is from Ishmael? See, your lies is working against you. If Ishmael is the father, grand, grand, grandfather of Muhammad, that's mean, yes, they have a prophet from the Arab. And when Ishmael, he came, and he is a messenger of Allah, shouldn't he have a book? What, he came with what, some tomato, potato in his hand? What the name of the book? Any Muslim knows what the name of the book? Because every prophet have a book, so if if uh, or a messenger, so if he is a messenger, then he have a book. Because he have a message, the message of God is the book of God. Anyone will use bad names in his uh, name, your your text will not appear. The one who call himself sex, your 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 text will not appear. So go change your name. Whatever you say, YouTube will not allow you to, you know, go change. Don't be silly. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Don't use bad language. Otherwise, we will block you. Doesn't matter if you claim to be Christian, Hindu, Jews, Muslim, doesn't matter. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Yeah, we hang up on him. He said, scared uh, of debating me. For sure, I'm scared of debating you. Oh, you have a. Uh, any Mohammedan would like to call us? Who is a Muslim? He have a long beard. He have a strong knowledge. He like to show people that this guy do not know much. Anyone? Eh, I don't know. I'm giving you the chance to prove me wrong. A spiritual journey. How you can take a spiritual journey journey over a donkey? That is not a spiritual no more. This is physical. You know, all of us, we Arab, we, we go to the moon every day over donkeys. You know? If you listen to Arab people stories you will see how many times they fly a day to the seven heaven all their stories are fabricated fabricated all our history is a fabrication all of it so do we have any muslim would like to call us may they may they a muslim is saying to me fork you thank you muslim yeah why are you a homo? I mean, okay, you say fork you. How a Muslim here is going to fork a man? Ah, you remind me about this hadith, Muslim, 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 Mr. Muslim. In the hadith, it says that a bunch of Muslims they came to complain to the caliphate about what? That there is a a man. Who is a feminine? He's a you know gay, and he is tempting them when he bend over. Read the hadith with me, and listen to this. 
And here you see how corrupt this society is. So they come to the Caliphate, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari, Hayat number 695. And they said to him, oh, we have a leader. He is a leader of fitna, a trial, affliction, etc. Oh, all of this, what happened? What he's doing? Leader of affliction, fitna, temptation. What is that? And we are afraid of being sinful following him. If, 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 what happened? What happened? And then they said to him, uh, Osman, he says, well, uh, Salat is the best deed of a believer, you know, so when people do good deeds, do the same as they do, okay? Avoid the bad deeds. As Zuri, he said, in our opinion, in our opinion, one should not offer Salat behind a feminine person unless there is no alternative. Alter so look at those hypocrites. They are saying that a gay who is praying in front of them is tempting them. This is mean you must be a gay yourself. Because how a man, if he bend over, he tempt you, unless you are a guy who like men. Correct, people? How in the world you are tempted? How that can be tempting you? A man who is effeminate, as you describe him, is a homosexual. He is bending over in front of you reading the prayer, and you are getting tempted. So supposedly they are saying the guy is bad, the guy is bad, but the fact they are, they themselves, they are the one who is homosexual, not the guy in the front of them, maybe he is, but obviously you will not get tempted unless you are, you like it. So their stories is a stupid stories, like their prophet. How in the world you get tempted by the guy? He's a man. Is a homosexual or not? How he tempt you? What he do exactly? Do you see how stupid this cult is? There is a story about a guy. Uh, he is a mujahid. You know, he said, "If I know who killed Uthman, I will do boom boom to him." A guy who like boom boom to men, he said, well, I am the one who killed Uthman. Show us what you can do. So the other Muslim, he put him down and he started doing boom boom to him. And then the guy, the other guy from underneath, he was saying, if I know that this is the punishment of killing Uthman, I would love to kill him every day. I'm just trying to be polite, not to say the word exactly. You know what I'm talking about. If I know that boom boom is the punishment of killing Uthman, I would love to kill Uthman every day. This is Islam. All right? All right. Let us hide this name here, this name. Change your name. Come with the new name. You are a sixth level like your prophet? No problem. <clears throat> Uh, a Muslim, his name is Alexander Reed. Why do we exist? Oh, no, not to me. Sorry, I thought he's talking to me. Do we have any Muslim? All right, guys, I think we have enough for today. And today we made it in different time. I might come back later at night, I mean, in my time. So, you know, like every day, we will see. But today we make it in different times, so those who live in Europe, they can join us and they can listen because they were complaining that this is a time where they will be sleeping. So now you have no excuse. But now it's your duty, those who live in Europe, to bring me Abdul from Europe, so they will call me. As you see, we are short of Abdul. All right? The only one who want to debate me, and obviously I'm scared of him, is this kid who his name uh, why we do exist come on debate me scared to debate me a real Muslim <laughs> I will give you one more call just for a laugh you know just for comedy are you there I'm here Hello. 
Okay. I have my camera on this time. As you can see. All right, no I have problem. This mask. You should be afraid. No, don't open your don't open your camera for me. I'm not interested. I will hang up on you if you open the camera. Look at the mask. Okay, I will hang up on you then. Don't no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay. So now I want to ask you is it true that yes, she, do she, she, have you ever seen shaitan piss he pee no i've never seen shaitan piss but do he pee shaitan do he do he pee yeah i believe that yeah yeah he does why you believe that he pee what is the proof well it's because like as uh, there are a lot of ridiculous things in the quran but i believe that there's a lot of evidence for like islam like scientific miracles so oh, i accept oh, the entire on, quran because of did that. you say there is ridiculous things in the quran Huh? Did you just say there's ridiculous things in the Quran? Yeah, but yeah. I, I swear it because there's scientific miracles in it that prove that the whole thing's true. Okay, but you just said there's ridiculous things in the Quran. Like what? Like what you just mentioned. Like what? Like what you said, shaitan pissing, the earwax. Like it's kind of crazy, but it's like as the scientific miracles prove Islam. Ah, so uh, you are saying there's, there's stupid things in Islam, but Islam have something smart in the same time. Uh yes, yeah, sort of. Okay. But that still makes it true. Ah, okay. But you wait. Why are you so? so wait, so, why do you want it to be? So you th so you think Muhammad was a stupid sometimes, smart sometimes, maybe? No, no, no. He was always a hundred percent truthful. He told he was the prophet of Islam. Okay, so what he how he say that Shaitan he's pissed in your ears. Well, maybe that is true. It's just we don't understand it. Maybe it's just kind of out of our understanding. Uh, like the Trinity, you don't understand the Trinity. Uh, you don't understand Trinity. Yeah, I understand it. We can debate the Bible. You don't. You would never debate the Bible with me. You would get knocked out of the park. Really? Okay, knock me out of the park. You right. look last last time, uh, last last stream. I asked you show me a verse in the Bible, in the Bible, not mm. the Quran, in the Bible, mm. where it says Jesus is God. Worship me. Red letters. Go. Okay. Let us let us see. I will and show I will you, repent I will show the you. Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Online. I will show you the verse from the Quran or from the Bible. Is that okay? No, 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 Quran. Bible, Bible, Bible. From the Bible and the Quran, because we have to connect. Who is the one who okay. for, who, who is the one who forgives sin? Huh? Who is the one who forgives sin? Allah. Only Allah. Only Allah. Okay, so Muhammad cannot forgive sin. Muhammad can accept sin, but he does not forgive them. He gives them to Allah. He's the interceder. He intercedes for us. All right. So the Quran says that who can forgive sin save Allah. Do you agree with that? I do agree with that. All right. So if we show you that Jesus forgives sin, does that mean that he is God? Jesus forgive no sin. No, we, you know, we are okay. It's not up to you. It's not up to me. Like, are, are you are you going to talk to me as a man or as a kid? Well, I am the man here. I think you are the kid because you don't. You didn't give me a verse from the Bible. Hmm. So if I give you where's the Bible? If I give you verses from the Bible, what you would do? You would accept that the Quran. I will obey. I will obey down. No, no, no. I will obey down and I'll accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior if you can prove that He is God in the Bible. All right. But do you promise? Promise. I promise. Okay. All right. Let us see what the Bible says. <clears throat> uh, I will put it for you in the screen. And let us see. This is Matthew chapter 1 to 8. And we can read if you want specifically. Uh, Matthew 1 8 yeah okay I'm on it all right can you read it for us uh, Matthew 1 8 correct Matthew sorry chapter chapter uh, Matthew chapter 9 verse from 1 1 to 8 yeah okay so I can do that yeah because I'm I know more about the Bible than the Quran because I used to be a Christian oh you used to be a Christian yeah I could believe you Yes. Okay. Let me read. So, what, so all through it, the entire thing. Mm. So, tell me what is what uh, what is right. there. And he entered the ship, passed over into the city, and behold, they brought a man sick of palsy, lying. And Jesus, seeing their faith, unto them, 
Son, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. And behold, stop, the certain scribes stop, say, he blasphemed. Stop, blasphemy. stop, stop. Did you just say that Jesus said to the man, your sin is forgiven? Yes, but Allah is forgiving them through Jesus. No, where it says that Allah said, did he say your sin is forgiven? He forgive his sin? Yes, but he said the Father is greater than I. So the Father, is, he is interceding for him. He's saying that your sins are forgiven. Okay, and where, 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 where it says what you are saying, where you are getting this? I will give you the verse. Where it says that the Father forgive your sin. Okay. And when you are praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven hmm. may forgive you your sins. All right. So now, we, so who is the Father? The Father is Allah. Is Allah? The Jesus says, "Me and the Father is one." Uh, that that's corrupted. Huh? But you just said to me, "Show me from the Bible." Yes, but some parts, the, the parts that agree with the Quran are true. The parts that don't agree are hmm. corrupted. Ah, okay, okay. Let us correct the so other one. So now I just showed you that when the Father forgive, Jesus he forgive. If we go to Luke, as long as you said you know you know the Bible, Luke chapter seven. Yeah. Go there. Luke, Luke chapter seven. Chapter seven, verse number. Yeah, I'm on Luke chapter seven. Read from verse number five, uh, for, uh, for, uh, like 45, 45, 46, 47, 48. Go ahead. Okay, all right. Uh, you did not give me a kiss, but this woman, from the time I entered, has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not put oil on my head, but she has poured perfume on my feet. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven, mm -hmm. as her great love had been shown. Mm -hmm. But whoever has been forgiven, these li little ones loves little. Mm. Then Jesus said to her, your sins are forgiven. The other guest said, Stop. who is this who forgives sins? Okay. Who is this who can forgive sin? What do you say? Uh, I think, like I said, I think Allah is using Jesus through him ah, and he's... Um, ah, Allah right. is using Jesus. Uh -huh. Correct. All right. He gave him the authority right. to forgive but, sins. But you Allah see, gave him the authority but you, but to forgive you, sins. But you see, you promise me if I show you that Jesus say he's God and we agree that Show only, me he's God. Just only, because he can forgive sins doesn't make we, you God. We agreed. Let us speak as a, as a... If you want to speak like a kid, I will hang up on you. You said to me, if I show you that Jesus is God and I ask you, who is the one who forgives sin? You said only Allah. Right? Then I showed you another verse and right. the verse saying that the Father forgive your sin and I ask you, who is the Father? You said God. Okay. And then I said to you that Jesus says, me and the Father is one. And then we showed you a verse. Jesus saying to the women, go and your sin is forgiven. So only the Father can forgive sin. You right. said, this is God, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. And Jesus said to the women, your sin is forgiven. Did Jesus say, may your sin forgiven, or he said to her, go, go and your sin is forgiven? Right. So what right? So? So Jesus, he forgave her uh, sin. It's corrupted. And it's corrupted, though. It's, it's corrupted. corrupted. Ah, okay. So you are, you see, you are a hypocrite. You are a potato. You promise me if I show you in a clear evidence that Jesus is okay, God. Okay, okay. No, no, no. For One verse. Only, Just give me a verse that says, all, I'm God. No, the, the verse is in the front of you. I'm, I can give you many. Chapter 3, verse 135 in the Quran says, Who forgives sin save Allah only? Does it say that okay, in the that Quran? Makes... Yeah, true. Okay. True. And the verse I showed you, it says, Jesus said, Go and your sin is forgiven. Correct? Yeah. Does it say that may God forgive you? No. Does the Jew say to him, Who is the one who forgives sin? Yeah. Which mean only God can forgive sin, correct? Yeah. Okay. So how Jesus forgives sin? Explain to me. Go ahead. Um. It's a uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, Jesus maybe was temporarily God. Like he was God for like maybe ah, the time on earth. But then he was no longer God. Okay. So Jesus was temporarily God for maybe that day, correct? Yeah. Okay. Now correct. you said you will bow down and pray to Jesus if I prove to you that Jesus is God. 
The no, he's not God anymore, though. No, he was. He was God. Ah, he was God. No longer. Uh -huh. But still, you said to me, if you can show me one verse in the Bible saying that Jesus is God, you will bow down, or pray to Jesus. Go ahead, do it. Open the camera. I will put it on your screen. Okay. Open your camera. Okay. I, I, all right, you win. You win. You win. Oh, okay. So I will... All right. Father God, I come unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask for forgiveness in Jesus' name. Okay. Oh, well, hold on. No, nobody saw you bowing down. Just hold on. Let me put, uh, put you in the, in the camera so everybody can see you. Go ahead. Bow down again to Jesus. Okay. Father <laughs> Father God, I come down to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and I ask for your forgiveness. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, that's it. You, are, you left Islam, and now you became you became a Christian. Good to, good, good to have you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right that was that was fun that is it's funny what we can say you know hey I mean, what you can do oh uh, yeah can you show me where jesus is god i got the, his jesus is god temporarily now what does that mean you know is it a god or is it not god only god can forgive sin the quran confirmed that so when the Muslim they say to you, show me where Jesus says I'm God, you know, I mean there is no honesty here. All right? There's no honesty. In the in the challenge, there is no honesty. Even Jesus, he confirmed, yes, your sin is forgiving. Go in peace. Don't worry about them. Who is the one who can forgive sin? Did Jesus says I don't forgive sin no you know don't, don't take me wrong no so when the Quran confirmed that nobody forgives sin <coughs> save Jesus sorry save Allah and then we find that the Messiah he confirmed that he is the one who save who save people from their sin and even the people right away they question who is the one who can you know forgive sin Who is the one who can do that? He said to her, go, go in peace. Your sin is forgiven, that's it. Who is this that forgive sin also? Also. So my friends, we have millions of reasons to believe in Jesus as God and we use the yellow pages of Muhammad to prove our point not because we believe in the Quran but because the Quran is what you believe in so we show you in from what you believe in the reasoning otherwise we do not need read the Quran Quran is just a stupid book anyway so today we have two people left Islam thank to God thank you Lord and we pray that our mission will be will do, be doing better and better and better. And please, if you know a Muslim sheikh who claimed that to have knowledge, uh, there is no need to say face to face and all this madness because obviously, if you say that, you are trying to avoid debating me. You can call me. We will have a nice conversation. People do not need to see your face, neither my face. You know, there is no need for that. But people who make it face to face is just seeking excuse. So the debate will never happen. Actually, we can even call it a, a nice conversation, not a debate. All right. So if we can find a Muslim, if you can find a Muslim, if you know a Muslim who is willing to do so, please let him contact us. And I will be happy uh, to talk to you, to see what you, you know, what you believe in, how much you know. How much smart you are, how much educated. You never know. Maybe you will make me convert to Islam. You know, for me, I you know who said, I mean, virgins, I mean, who can resist that? Hummus, hummus in heaven? There's no hummus. That's bad. There's only uh, I mean the Quran is a very funny book, by the way. It says that you will eat meat, bird, the meat of birds from what you wish. Only bird, what about if I like shrimp? 
Only bird. So the whole heaven is about barbecue, chicken barbecue, or ducks barbecue, or turkey barbecue. And uh, this is only grape, bar, uh, uh, bird uh, food, bracelet, chair, couches, pillows, and women. That's it. Nice to meet you. What a boring life. No TV, no internet, nothing. Uh, Allah, he never heard about it at that time. Trust me, if Muhammad, he saw screen, the screen TV, he will promise you the biggest screen TV ever you can imagine. He will give you unlimited access to internet in his heaven and Quran. But in his time, this is what, you know, people dream about, you know, like a grape, qutufa hadaniya. You do not, even, look how lazy even they are. They don't even want to move. The grape will come down to you. Like it's coming down. What I mean, so what, what those people would do, I wonder even how they have sex because obviously they will not move. They are lazy, you know? Maybe it's a, you know, it's like imaginary sex because if you cannot even go and get, get the grape, you know? Look at this, chapter 69, verse number uh, uh, 23, chapter 60, 76, verse number 14. You know? What is this? I mean, he is thinking about how it's going to be easy to reach. I mean, it's a grape tree. It's not like a, it's not like a palm tree. No, we will make it short for you. But what short for you? Aren't you going to make them 90 miles tall? I mean, if if the guy is tall, his his ninety mile tall. What do you mean he will make he will make the 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 palm tree down? You know, for them. I mean the 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 grape tree. What a crazy cult! If he is ninety mile tall. You know, and this is remind me by the way, like if you go, if you go before we before we finish today. You know the the Muslim believe that Adam and all the Noah and etc. They were so tall. Uh, <clears throat> if you go and search for the tomb of a prophet Adam in the in the internet, okay. Let us see, this is the one, this is one for Adam. No, this is Amran. Amran is shorter than Adam, just to give you an idea, guys, just to give you an idea. Look at this. Let me put it on the screen for you. This is the tomb of Amran. Who is Amran? This is the father of Mary. I mean, do you see how tall it is? This guy is like 90 meter. This is the tomb of the father of Mary, according to Islam. Okay. Adam and Abraham, they are older. They are taller. So I want to know how in the world that Adam, who was so tall, yet he built the Kaaba so small. The Kaaba is not even to the height of his shin. <laughs> you know okay abraham uh, sorry adam he built the kaaba and then abraham he fixed it okay but why is so small if they are so tall this is not even in the size of a, of a, of a little box delivery from amazon compared to the size of adam or abraham what happened Based on this, the Kaaba should be like 70 floor, higher than the, 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 the highest building in, in, in the earth. Do you think it shrink because of a global warming? <laughs> what a stupid cult. No, we are not taking calls in Skype, my friend. We are using Pat Talk. If you know a Muslim, he's a sheikh. Please feel free. We would be happy. To have him live with us with this i want to finish for today so people can download the video i hope you guys enjoy it we have two muslims today who left islamic glory to the lord 
uh, one he accepted Jesus the other one he is in the way so that is wonderful thank you very much for being here feel free to subscribe to our channel and to join us in patreon if you care and we will see you soon again maybe a few hours from now maybe tomorrow we will see subscribe and wait for the coming event don't forget to leave a comment if you are a muslim and if you are a muslim who can challenge me don't forget to call me as you see we go live waiting for your call it's a challenge friendly challenge can you make it do it then so allah can give you extra versions thank you all christ is lord islam is false and we prove it every day love the muslims don't hate them be good as your lord be good as your lord and the good you do because you are good not because you must do it because this is what you are not because somebody is forcing you he was good for this is his nature so follow your lord and don't be like muhammad don't be a hateful person don't be a violent person everyone goes where he belongs so my friend if you believe in christ go where you belong be holy like him god bless you and may the lord keep you safe take care